Hello, and welcome to my lecture on the Audacity Shareware noise reduction software. In a chance interaction with a Udemy support professional recently, I heard about the shareware software available from audacityteam.org. After downloading the software, I watched a YouTube video which provided me with the instructions I needed to learn how to use the software correctly. A couple of tricks to it, but using it is relatively straightforward. First, here is an overview from Wikipedia on how the Audacity software works. Audacity's noise reduction effect is in essence a multi-band digital noise gate automatically shaped by the noise profile you supply. In other words, it looks at the noise sample, works out what the noise floor is in each of the frequency bands, and uses this as the threshold for a bank of noise gates. When the audio is processed, it is processed into the same frequency bands and passed through the noise gate. So if that frequency band has only noise in it, the noise will get blocked. If there is signal in that band, which will also mask the noise from being heard, then the gate opens and the signal and the noise is let through. So here are the steps to using the software once you have downloaded it. First, under the File tab, select Import and then select Audio. Find the audio file on your computer that you wish to import, select it, and it should import and appear on your screen. Please note that I've only been working with .mp3 files so far, but I'm told it will work just as well with .wav files and other formats uh, for audio as well. Once the file appears, the next step would be to expand your file far enough so that you can easily select a no-conversation piece of audio to get your baseline noise profile. There is a magnifying glass symbol with a plus sign on it at around the top middle of the screen. I usually click that three times to expand the audio recording to what I need. Once expanded, you can select a non-speaking segment of the audio just by moving your mouse over to one end of what you want to select, clicking and holding down the left mouse key till you highlight the area of the recording you want, and then lifting up your finger from the mouse key you are pressing when you get to the other end. This should highlight the audio segment that you want. Next, under the Effects tab, select Noise Reduction. A pop-up window will appear on it with several options available. Just click on the Get Noise Profile button near the top center of the screen. Next step, go back to your audio and click on the minus sign Magnifying Glass three times to bring your audio length back to its original size. Next, Highlight the entire audio by starting your mouse at the far ending of the audio and clicking and holding down the left mouse key, then dragging your mouse all the way back to the beginning of the audio where you let go of the key being pressed. This should highlight the entire audio. Click on the Effects tab again and Noise Reduction. When the pop-up window appears this time, click on the OK button at the bottom of the screen. The noise reduction process will begin and you can see it working on the screen. Next step is to press the Save Project button to keep a copy of this new baseline recording for the audio. When done, click on the Export Audio button also found under the File tab. A pop-up screen will appear for you to enter whatever information you want to have associated with the final recorded audio. When you've entered all you want to on that screen, press OK. This brings you to a save screen where you can choose the file name and the audio file type you want as the final output. In my case, I've been choosing .mp3 for the final format. Once you've clicked OK again on the pop-up and the application has recorded your file to the new file name and final format, you are done and you can exit the program. Your new sound reduced audio is ready to go. I have found this tool to be a great final step in my audio recording process. I think you'll like it as well. Happy recording and bye for now.